So uh, we are going to talk about now uh, hooking up the VEX Cortex to your computer. So there are a couple important things. It has to be done in order. So if you're going to hook up the VEX Cortex, you do it in the, the front order. If you're going to unhook it, you do it in the reverse order. So if we were to say to power cycle the VEX Cortex, we would do it in the reverse order and then rehook it up in the regular order. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that uh, the VEX Cortex is off. So we turn it off. All right, and that's the switch on the front. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to um, to uh, hook on the battery. So we're going to turn the battery on, or I'm sorry, we're going to turn the bat, push the battery into the front. It goes in just like this. Oops, I always get it wrong. Okay, so it goes right in there just like that. Then once the battery is in, we're going to go ahead and hook up the. Um, the USB cable, the USB goes in the back just like this. So you're going to push that on in there. Okay, and then finally, uh, and you should see once you put in the USB cable, your, your computer should recognize it. And then you're finally going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, and at that point, what you should see is you should see two green lights. One might be flashing a little bit, but two green lights mainly. Okay. All right, so let's say that we have it plugged in and something is going wrong. Almost always, if you get start getting weird errors or like stuff isn't working right, almost always the, uh, the solution is to power cycle the VEX Cortex. So let's take a look at that. So let's say something's going wrong. I want to take it all out and plug it all back in again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. The first thing I do is to turn it off. So I do it in reverse order. The second thing is to remove the USB. I tend to remove the USB from the computer. We're going to go ahead and then take out the battery, okay? And that's that's the power cycling. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and plug the battery back in, plug the USB back in, and then we're going to finally turn on the power again. And we see our two green lights right here, okay? So that is how we turn on the VEX Cortex. Now to make sure that it works, um, what you want to do is you want to go to the robot menu go to uh, download firmware and you just click automatically update VEX Cortex. And that way you're, you're, and if it updates, it says no updates are available, you know for sure that your VEX Cortex is communicating properly with your computer. Okay, thanks a lot. Good luck.